Jesse, I really want me a candies. But there's a tornado outside. We really can't go anywhere. Good thing I know chemistry and we can make them at my house. Emma, the chemist, is going to help us out with this. She got us all the ingredients, didn't she? <laughs> oh, she's leaving. What are we going to do? Good well, thing I know chemistry. You don't, though. <laughs> Why do we need all this stuff? Well, this is the ingredients. We have sugar, and not just any sugar, sucrose, which is a disaccharide, which is a double sugar. It is made of one molecule of glucose and one fructose. It has the formula carbon 12, hydrogen 22, and oxygen 11. Sugar is added to make it sweet. Then we have corn syrup, and that's added to stop the sugar from crystallizing. Crystallization would cause the candy to have a grainy appearance and a brittle structure, which would be pretty gross. Stop drinking that, we need that. Why? Water is added to dilute the sugar. It's boiled out afterwards, and we really need it. And this is the next ingredient, food coloring, which is just added to dye the peppermint to different colors. So, the next thing we add, or the final ingredient, is actually the flavoring, which is peppermint extract. Peppermint is a hybrid cross between watermint and spearmint, two types of menthol plant. The main components of peppermint oil are menthol, which is carbon-12, hydrogen-20, and oxygen, and menthone, which is carbon-10, hydrogen-18, um, and one oxygen. It can be naturally extracted from peppermint leaves. Extract is just peppermint oil with alcohol added to it. So how we're going to cook it is we're going to use a saucepan and bring the sugar, corn syrup, and water to a boil. And we're going to stir frequently with a wooden spoon until the sugar dissolves. Then we're going to cook it, remove it from the heat, and stir in the peppermint extract. The rest of it is just spreading and folding it until it turns dough-like, dyeing the half of it red, and then twisting it all together. And then voila! Peppermint candies. Look, Emma, we finished the recipe and we made all the mints. Do you want some? They're even packaged for you. The reason mint feels cool on your tongue is menthol binds to the TRPM8 receptor. Doing this opens a pore, then calcium ions move into the cell. This process sends a message to the brain. The same receptor reacts to cool temperatures. It sends the same message to the brain, and the brain cannot distinguish between them. So menthol feels cool. Two fish. Governor, if you want to learn more about peppermint candy, go to chemistryslife.com. I'm really British, I'm not lying. <laughs>